What it do surprise Shadi Cree? Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna try to be brief. Um, so for the last, mm, I'll say like a week, God been the Holy Spirit. It's been on my heart. Um, no, nah, I really did hear. Um, he misses like the sweet you. I was like, what? Um. And he been highlighting honey and sweets. Like last night, I just kept hearing like sweet, 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 sweet. I was like, why you keep saying sweet? Um, so I've been processing different things today. Uh, and one of the songs that's been coming up lately, probably like a week or two is um, Wale. We've been on a tragedy for months. <laughs> like what? So what am I going to talk about? This is for those of you, those um, of you who are already married to your spouses um those of you who are already in a relationship with your spouse those of you who are in situations with your spouse i don't know but um y'all talk um and maybe the last you know months years they haven't been the best excuse me weeks i don't know um god is making y'all's love sweet again and it could have not been sweet for a number of reasons. This is not to, you know, say y'all ain't been through things or at one point you was sweet and being sweet got you hurt, got you overlooked. When really that's not what it was. Like, that's something me and God routinely have to go back to. Like, God, I was always like that. And look where it got me the last time, right? Um, So that could be a fear of you not wanting to be sweet or you withholding that for them because withholding that from them you feel like they don't deserve it and we've talked about that before too um so it's so easy this is going to tie into the community post from yesterday really all of them but it is so easy for us to see these big grand words like he's coming like he's coming to get you sis all this and then overlook our role in it or the additional things that we need to be doing or being mindful of or practicing um to get to that place um god convicted me of this at work this is what is so crazy so it's it's a number of things be his peace be his friend and respect him submit to him truly um i was at work and i'm getting ready to brief my boss and we were going over like what i'm going to say and my lead and my um other boss like they was like hey can't say that like that because it's gonna come off like you're trying to tell him what to do and how my job and stuff you know it's it's like they military so it was like i understood that like no i can't be talking to that man crazy you know i can't be going up in there like hey sir this is what you gotta do i can't do that and in that moment i felt so convicted because i am not mindful of that when i talk to my spouse I ain't never really mindful of when I talk to any man, like, is this going to come off like he feel like I'm telling him what to do? I just be talking and I tell the truth. And so that is something that I have to work on. And I told y'all, it's been like that with my dad. Like, I've learned how to do that with him lately. Like, let me just kind of like stay out your way, be quiet, mind my business. When you miss your sweet daughter, like, you going to ask where I'm at, right? <laughs> like, that's what's going to happen. And um, I listened to Close Friends earlier. And then I saw baby be saying like, um, lately you've been acting rude. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh. And I think Jacquees got a song about being their piece too. But I saw this thing on Instagram that was like, make sure you marry a man who wants to be a husband and doesn't just want a wife. And that's what I'm asking y'all. Do you want to actually be a wife? Because I'm asking myself that too. Or do you just want a husband? Because if you actually want to be a wife, that really does come with cultivating that sweetness, like that peace, that um, like that sanctuary for him, um, being his friend, being a place of solace for him where he feels God's presence regardless of what he's doing, what he's not doing. Do y'all get what I'm saying? And um, for those of y'all, we are very much alike. And I've already been on the like, no, for real. What do I actually need him for though, God? If you... If we are still in that place, I'm assuming we are all struggling with being their peace. 
and still allowing them to feel worthy and loved and respected even when we don't think they deserve it, whatever the case may be, because it's our job as wives to feel like the comforting Holy Spirit. Like when y'all think about the Holy Spirit, what do y'all think about? It's not bitterness. It's sweetness. It's my best friend. It's always there. It's leading and guiding me, but like gently and maybe not even with words, right? Like, so I just want to challenge all of us um, who are in a place to put that into practice. And you could not be wanting to because of fear. And remember he said in February, we are facing our fears, but, um, and I feel like I need to I remind, remind us because I already made that video, but don't be scared to love them and really like outpour and allow it to be an overflow. Um, we will hold back because of what we think other people will think. We will hold back because we don't think they deserve it. We will hold back waiting to see if they're going to do it first. Don't do that. Okay. Be sweet. For some of y'all, that's literally what I heard. He misses the sweet you. It's some of y'all who could have been in this thing for years. Y'all been married for years. Your husband misses the version of you that just loved him. And that's what he needs to unlock different things. That's what he needs to help him fight and feel motivated. But I know like when they do something or when they hurt your feelings or when they're not there for you or you going through your own thing, whatever it is, that can make us pull that away from them or want to pull that away from them. Give them your heart again. Be sweet again. Be his friend again. And I know it's hard when we feel like we know so much God telling us so much. I know. I know. But we don't want to be in our own way. If he's making our love sweet again, all we can do is worry about our role in it. And as a wife, what are we supposed to be doing? Being respectful, being submissive, being sweet, being comforting, being their friend, whatever it is. But like, ask God, um, because a lot of times we can be looking like, God, why, why are we getting back to that place? Why are we in that place? Okay. And if you got a man who is still there with you and you recognize you're not moving like that, he's still trying. He's thank God for that. And like, he also been telling me like, um, you know, um, showing them we appreciate them and stuff. That's one way you can do that. Men and women really aren't the same. Like we're really not the same. And one way we can show them we appreciate them is by giving them that honor, that respect continue to be sweet like when he told me that like, i'm making y'all love sweet again okay but the kicker is hey look sis i need you to go back to being sweet to him not pressuring him not doing all this to him and then no like i need you to stop so that y'all's love can be sweet again and y'all and we really just submit and surrender to the process like i i know guys telling me like and it's gonna stay sweet like but it's things that we gotta learn as wives and I know like he's just been stripping me of so much like wow who is this person <laughs> so be gentle and that's the scripture too you know it's your gentle nature that'll win your husband over and we will turn that gentle nature off and really we coming against everything the very move of God that we want to see right so I don't know who needs that I'm just being real with y'all um, it's so funny because I always said, like, I don't know how I'm going to share with y'all when I'm like really in it, in it, like not realizing like, girl, I, you was in it when you said that. So, um, if this is for you, leave me the honey emoji in the comments. Okay. But God is making y'all's love sweet again, but you gotta be sweet to your man. Okay. All right. Is it saying your love and gentleness and sweetness towards him? He's able to taste and see that the Lord is good. Okay, like, wow.